because just like me, there were a lot of other people out there going through the same kind of emotions, feeling mm. you know, so open the TV, get a WhatsApp, open the newspaper, everything is so many deaths. This is closing down. This is going to happen. This business shutting down. This is happening. This airline shut down. This company shut down. And you're going to lose your job. You're going to this. This is going to happen. And it all happened also. So it was right for them to get anxious. So I said, let me come out with this only. So since then, I have been doing this only positive news. I think just day for yesterday was my 81st episode of only positive. I wow. tried to start it with the daily. Then uh, I made it like twice, thrice a week I do it. So I now do it at least thrice a week I do it. Or twice or thrice a week. So I did like 81 episodes of this. And uh, and that can really... People can find it on my social media, on my Instagram, on Facebook, on my YouTube. I even okay. posted on my LinkedIn profile. I post it everywhere. Wherever I'm, okay. I'm there on social media, I put a link to it so people can go and watch it. It's just okay. telling positive news from around the world. And um, uh, and I was enjoying it because, first of all, it gave me a routine to myself, you know. So I knew for the next, I want to do it. So I, you know, a previous night I sit and research. I go through CNN and go through Al Jazeera. I go through some of the Indian TV channels. Then I, you know, next morning newspaper I read, I scan through it, collate the news, sort of put a structure to it. And, um, you know, then I, I learned editing because of that. Because, you know, when you put out a video, it has to be edited well. So I, I learned editing. I never knew editing before. So thanks to that, I learned a new skill called uh, <laughs> how to edit your own videos. I downloaded an editing software. It took me three, four days to understand it, learn it. And now I've become fairly expert on it. And from a performer's perspective, how how is it? In what ways is it different performing on Zoom versus performing oh, it's, it's in a? It's very different. So initially, when I started doing Zoom show, it was like actually, honestly, going back to 2012, doing my open mic, because mm. it's technology. You there's technology. There could be internet issues. There could be you know people them you know because as a performer, you want their mics and videos to be on because you want to hear laughter. You know. Correct. But some people are not comfortable starting their mics and their videos, whatever. So I beg people, you know, at least we give, give me like a 25 or 100 tickets. At least 25, 30 people should have their mics and videos on, which typically happens. And then uh, you could have somebody, you know, eating food and talking to, Are, mera do roti lao, and that entire voice gets scared. You know? <laughs> somebody burping on the, on the, you know, loudly on, the, on his mic. So all those things that you have, <laughs> that you remove jokes out of those also. Those are the challenges, but I think I was, I'm quite happy that I got into it, uh, uh, fast into it. So I think I had my first show, I think at the end of March only I had my first show, or I think first April. So within like 15 days, I had my first show to sort of understand how it is because going ahead and that has also helped me because it has got me a lot of newer audience also because, you know, earlier you had, you know, one fan, sir, I'm staying in Jabalpur. When will you come to Jabalpur? I said, dude, I'm not going to come to Jabalpur to perform for you. If it's a big show, I'll come for it. But now that guy mm-hmm. in Jabalpur, can watch my show on Zoom. You know, forget Gabriel. People are, I've got fans from Argentina, Australia, you know, from some West Indies islands, obviously Indians who have. Been, who, so that has opened up. That's, it's, this opened up. And I think just like how work from home is sort of becoming the new norm, you know, I'm sure it. So the experience is, I would say, 60% of performing on live because nothing can replace a live audience, the laughter, the experience. It's a four dimensional mm-hmm. experience. There's still, I would say, two dimensional. And um, I think uh, that cannot never replace it. 